All right, we want to go back to the Tennessee Theater where they are celebrating August 8th, which is a very special day here in the state of Tennessee. And that's where we find Emily Stroud with some very special guests. Emily. Russell and Beth, I'm here at the Tennessee Theater, and this is the VIP red carpet event. Everyone is dressed for the red carpet, including Renee Kessler, who is the president of the Beck Cultural Exchange Center. Why is it important for the Beck Center to put on this event and bring Rena Davis in? Well, it's always important. This is our fifth year. Today is the 8th of August, so we commemorate freedom, emancipation, the opportunity for people to come together in fellowship and friendship. Rena Evers just swept in. Do you think she'll be able to talk to us? She is looking good, <laughs> and we are so happy to have her. So this is Miss Rena Evers, and we are excited to have her. This is daughter of Medgar Evers, and so she is now part of our family in Knoxville. I think I am. <laughs> I am so happy to be here a second time, but especially this time. This is a very special event. Well, tonight they're going to preview the documentary, The Evers, the story, the family story of Medgar Evers. Have you seen the documentary yet? I've seen bits and pieces. <laughs> Your expectation. Uh, I'm trying not to have too many, uh, or should I say, not too high. But I have been blessed to work with Loki Mahalan, who uh, approached us, the family, about this. And um, there are some parts, of course, that I don't want to remember, but it is important to remember. And it's important for us to move forward with even pain. And especially now, we cannot go ahead and sit back and let all the atrocities that are happening continue to happen. We do have to have a call to action. Rena, you were eight years old when your dad was assassinated, a civil rights icon, but you have, you have carried on his legacy. Where do you go from here? I mean, you've done so much. Well, actually, um, it's been my mother who's done a lot. And I've just been a supporting factor of that because I believe in what my father put his life on the line for and what my mother has and so many, so many activists, civil rights, but human activists that have really said enough is enough. We all should be treated fairly and equal. And so to go from here, we're going to continue the fight. Thank you so much, Rena Evers and Renee Kessler. That documentary starts at 6.30, The Evers, here at the...